This is your girl Shaw Guerrero, aka your favorite. Wait. <laughs> I can't even get the name right. Ugh, where am I going with this? Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shaw Guerrero, aka your friendly neighborhood witch. And before we fully dive into all of the wonderful ways we can implement magic into our daily lives, I figured you guys might appreciate knowing how and why I became a witch. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to keep this as brief as possible and I promise I'm gonna try and not bore you guys. And also I wanted to give you a disclaimer. This is my personal journey. This is what has worked for me. This is my path that I took and I don't expect um, anybody else to take the same path. I need you to do what is right for you. One of my favorite quotes from AA and from my personal recovery path is take what you can use and leave the rest. If you guys don't know, I uh, basically my family is pretty much out in the open as far as the public eye is concerned. And many people know that my mom and dad, uh, my whole family really has a very strong Christian faith. And that was all well and good in a way. It provided me with structure and friends when I was young. We were pretty hardcore, you guys. Like, we were one of those families that were super involved in the church. Like, we were there every Sunday and Wednesday and then some. Uh, I went to a private Baptist school. So, yeah, I had the full, like, ugly uniform and we had chapel every day. Like, it, it was a whole thing older I got, basically I was having some feelings about basically what I was into and I felt like dancing and uh, basically more secular ways of life and I was pretty much looked down on for that. Uh, like my family tried to be as loving and understanding with our situation. We had a really rough home life in my early childhood with my dad's addiction and my mom trying to handle that and me and my sister and at the time now I know I was actually having my own addictions and acting out in ways that weren't healthy. I was having a lot of questions about my faith and I wasn't feeling at home and it was feeling forced and I was just, yeah, I wasn't completely comfortable but it was the way of life that I knew and so I was pretty hardcore uh, Jesus Crispy if you will like I clung to my religion with everything I could because I also had this thing with trying to be perfect and uh, that's all part of my addiction and I guess my main goal in life was to try and be the best little Christian that I could be which is a tall order for anybody because there's a lot of rules there's a lot of rules to follow and sins to commit, or not commit, I should say. Uh, so yeah, it was just, um, I wasn't at peace in my faith, but it was what I had, it was what I clung to, especially in the darker side of my childhood. Like I said, I was drawn to dance and I was actually really drawn to witches. I was really drawn to like fantasy. And like, as a young kid, like I know, I, witches don't come for me that are like so much more experienced but a lot of my influences and a lot of my inspirations are definitely from like the media and movies and you know just transporting yourself into another more magical less raw place if you will and so uh, I remember like god I was like so excited as a child because I got I don't remember the series but I got this like fantasy series and it was a witch series and I was reading it I was so into it I was so excited and of course I got banned from reading that uh, my dad like lost his crap about me reading a fantasy book uh, and uh, like so obviously Harry Potter was off the table like basically all of those things were pretty much like no um, and like I remember as a child like I would try and make potions like in my bathroom and I didn't know what I was doing but I knew I loved like candles and I loved like potion making and like just the idea of it all and I got punished for that too because it was let, letting the devil in the house <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I was pretty much uh, discouraged very heavily about anything that had to do with the occult. In my early 20s, I got admitted into a uh, rehab facility for eating disorders and I will forever thank WWE for, you know, allowing me to do that and for helping me get involved in that program because uh, it honestly did save my life and I did very much cling to a higher power in order to get out of my addiction and I fully believe in a higher power 100% at the time I did identify that higher power with Jesus and Christianity which is fine like I like that way of thinking that way of life helped my dad you know recover out of his addictions and uh, but I also believe that you know there are many paths in religion that basically lead to the same source. At the end of the day it's about love and it's about a higher power and I believe that that it definitely helped me out of my addiction basically but uh when i was 27 28 so pretty recently because i'm only 29 right now i was finally letting myself explore and think for myself i hadn't been happy in my christian faith in a really long time it always felt like i was going to be punished or that i was always doing something wrong or i was always just not as good as what i needed to be and I had a big disconnect with like Old Testament and New Testament and uh, I would anyway like I said personal journey this was where I was at and what actually made me happy was when I just started letting myself read into other things and read into the things that I really really have always wanted to read into and my husband very much encouraged me to do that like he was like if you think that you want to like divert and just explore just explore just explore just see what makes you happy and i remember i decided uh while we were living here in chicago i was going to go to my first ever occult store i call them witch stores <laughs> but uh i decided i was gonna go into more specifically the occult bookstore and i remember i was so nervous i was like almost shaking right before i went inside and i had just like i was just hyped up with energy and slash like waiting to be like smited smote i don't know basically i was waiting for the lord to smite me for going into an occult store and i was so nervous but literally the moment i opened the door to go into the store and smelling the incense and just being so enamored with just the beauty of the store and all of this mystery and new ways of thinking, I immediately calmed down. I immediately felt so serene and excited that, oh my God, this just could be a new way of thinking and a whole new realm of things I've always wanted to read into and about and I'm finally here doing it. I just didn't have a bad feeling in my body. I did not feel guilty at all and I was just like, this is where I'm supposed to be. And so basically I checked out some random book on astrology <laughs> and um, and I got some crystals, of course, because I love shiny things. I really started diving in and listening to podcasts and uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stores here in Illinois is um, the Gypsy Haven. It's quite a trek away from me, but it's totally worth like almost the hour drive because the store is huge and it's so beautiful. And the staff there, um, it's run by a husband and wife and they are just like so nice and open to helping out. Uh, definitely recommend you checking it out. Um, also, um, Alchemy Arts in the city is like my favorite bookstore selection, 100%. Anyway, uh, we'll get into like where to shop and, and all my favorite hauls and stuff like that later on. Like I said, I was just like really drifting more and more away from just the rigidity of religion in general and Christianity. And honestly, how do I define myself now? I don't know guys. I really don't know. I'm still figuring it out. I do not have the answers at all. At all. <laughs> and uh, I do consider myself spiritual. I do consider that there is a higher power out there and I still feel them. And uh, there's this old like idea in my head that like, oh my gosh, you're, I don't know, a heathen, you're a pagan now. And it's like, yes, I am. Yes, there's also another part of me that's fully accepting that. And that just knows like, you know, at the end of the day, like, I believe in a higher power. 
I'm really gonna try and not be an asshole to anybody. I'm really gonna try and just be the best that I can for myself and for my husband, for my animals, and for the amazing people I have in my life, to my family. And I do find that the term witch does, like it empowers me and it makes me feel so like at home and right. And am I a, like a legit like crazy practicing witch? I don't cast a circle every full moon, you guys. I don't, I, I barely do spells. I try to not mess with I guess how the universe is working right now unless I absolutely feel like I need help and you know I'm just learning I'm just figuring stuff out I'm probably doing it wrong but like I said I'm on a journey I'm learning I'm reading everything that I can and I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be and that's why I'm a witch it empowers me it makes me feel beautiful it makes me feel fierce and I still have my faith I don't know how to define it, uh, and that's okay. We're just all figuring it out, right? We're all just trying to do our best, and that is basically how I became a witch, why I'm a witch, but I take what I can use and I can leave the rest, and that's the beautiful thing about witchcraft and being a witch is just like, you tailor your own life, and I think that's absolutely beautiful. And so, anyway, that is what I wanted to come on here and just let y'all know like where I'm at and how I got here and basically how excited I am that you guys are coming with me on my journey. I can't wait to do my first, uh, since we're in quarantine by the way, uh, we're gonna do a witchy haul, but we're gonna do a witchy closet haul. Uh, where basically we're gonna work with what we got without going shopping. So I do believe in uh, saving money and not necessarily trying to buy things that we don't need, but ugh, that's a really big, issue for me because I love to shop <laughs> so we're, I'm doing my best um, but yeah I have a lot of really fun things in store for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for staying with me and if I could just leave you with a parting thought we're here now in the present we have this life that we're living and I thought it was too short to not explore the things that I was naturally drawn to and naturally felt happiness and peace and joy with. Explore. You don't have to marry anything. You don't have to, you know, sign a contract like now I am this. Like it's, just check it out. Check it out. Follow your heart, follow your instincts. I don't think your gut is ever wrong. So anyway, that's just some parting loving advice. Like I said, take what you can use, leave the rest, have a beautiful day. And I hope you guys keep checking out my videos. Once again, this is Shaw Guerrero, your favorite neighborhood. Why do I keep wanting to say favorites? Oh my God, your friendly neighborhood witch. And if I'm your favorite, that's all the better. All right, bye guys.